I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Mission Matters Money, your source for everything money. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today is a very special Reunion 2020 episode. What is that? That's when I bring on a guest that I had on in the past, and I liked it so much, I brought him right on back. So today's guest, I have uh, Maximilian Winter on the line, it's founder and CEO over at Noya Fund. Uh, Maximilian, welcome back to the show. Hi, Adam. Thank you for having me back. Oh man, happy 2020. I'm excited to get into what you're doing. Today's topic, I mean, um, investment, sustainability, a recent um, or sustainability theme that you've been pursuing. Um, interested to get into that and your thought process behind it for Noya Fund. Um, but before we do that, I don't want to assume that the, the new listeners heard your first episode. So let's just start by having you give us an overview of what, what's going on at Noya Fund. Sure. Yeah, uh, Noya Fund was, uh, I guess, founded in uh, 2017 and we started uh, making investments out of it in 2018. Um, it's what's called a proof of concept uh, venture capital fund uh, where we fund early stage companies um, uh, mainly in the in the seed and series A rounds um, in, uh, in, in specific verticals that are um, mostly healthcare uh, life sciences and uh, and deep tech, which is um, science breakthroughs that are uh, being commercialized from a laboratory um, into into the world. So let's get into uh, to today's topic, um, it's a, a sustainability theme um, and investing in it. Um, let, let's start off there. Where do you want to start? Yeah. So one thing we do at Noya Fund is. Um, we look for a company's core product or service um, having some kind of impact. Um, and generally the way we measure that is um, with uh, a, a framework from the, from the UN called the um, SDGs, the uh, Sustainable Development Goals. Um, so we look at kind of which of the 16 or 17 it, it checks off on the list. Um, and we're working on a framework right now that uh, actually measures uh, more specific metrics, so we don't just do it by feel. And so um, impact investing, I mean, it's a, it's a huge topic. I think a lot of people are giving a lot more um, thought process, not just on the institutional level, by the way, but also just on the personal level, um, uh, I should say for the person, individual investors, um, into impact investing and, and, and really considering where their dollars are going. Um, what do you think the future of impact investing and you know business governments i mean what do you think that looks like because you're evaluating companies um with this obviously this specific specific goal of deploying capital and making an impact at the same time so what do you think the future of that looks like for maybe even some of the larger companies yes i see that um there's a generational shift going on so a lot of uh, millennials are starting to come into money either inherited or just starting to really uh, get into the um, into the good years in their career. Um, and, I mean, you hear people even like Jim Cramer saying that, mm -hmm. you know, he's done with oil and gas. And so uh, I think millennials not, Yeah, are, when, when you hear that, by the way, that's a big deal. <laughs> you know what I mean? When you hear that, that's not uh, – he's been uh, – when, when, that's definitely hit crossing generations. But continue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, def uh, exactly. If it reaches up there – um, to to an established Wall Street uh, person, and um, I you know I think millennials are more uh, much more into something like Tesla, something that is something that they maybe use right. Even mm -hmm. Starbucks, you know, they get a coffee every day. Starbucks is a little bit about sustainability, and uh, they tr they try to um, do do a lot of work on that front. So I think they they're more investing with the conviction of what they use and they believe in and and mm -hmm. that's going to be there for their children as well anything uh interesting like and interesting in terms of industries and technology and developments that you've noticed that or themes that you care to comment on 
Yeah, um, there's there's so many interesting things, but what what we've uh, seen in the last uh, since since we last spoke in um, in June 2019, um, we've seen quite a few interesting companies in uh, agtech or agricultural technologies, um, and there's just so many ways that you can uh, that you can change the have a positive impact on the environment with um, the food that we cultivate and uh, and consume, um, recycling, um, uh, water usage, fertilizer usage, pesticides, um, the technology and measuring things. Um, yeah, th 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 that's where we see a lot of things. In. Um, and then uh, some material sciences companies um, there's a company that's uh, cutting silicon wafers uh, more more exact, so they're reducing the waste by a factor of two to three times. Um, and let's see. Um, yeah. Um, that's awesome. So, Maximilian, if somebody's listening to this, and they want more information on Noya Fund or to kind of keep up with uh, with what you're doing. Um, what's the best way for them to get that info? Yeah, I would direct them to the website uh, Noya Fund N E U E F U N D dot com, um, and happy to connect on LinkedIn um, or my email. You're, you're welcome to post that. Um, any other way that they would like to connect. I'm always happy to uh, to speak with uh, like-minded individuals and uh, sustainability impact and uh, investing technology. That's awesome. Well, hey, Maximilian, really appreciate you coming back on the show for this Reunion 2020 episode. Uh, looking forward to getting you back on in 2021 to see what else is going on with Noya Fund and the progress and, uh, and, and any other interesting themes you see then. So it's been great catching up with you and having you back. Um, and to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you're listening to this on uh, on, our, on iTunes or any other platforms, leave us a review. I mean, do all those great things we do to support our podcasters. We really do appreciate it over here. And Maximilian, thanks again for coming on the show.